Editorial note to Louis Alta says. On the reproduction of capitalism. By Jacques Bidet. 1. The manuscript on the reproduction of the apparatuses of production is the one from which Althusser extracted the fragments that together make up his famous essay Ideology and Ideological State Apparatuses, first released in June 1970 in the Revue La Pensée. The text that Althusser planned to publish was initially to be titled What is Marxist-Leninist Philosophy? The title was later changed to On the Superstructure. The book was to be included in the series called Théorie published by the left-wing Parisian publisher François Maspero. The change in the title indicates how the nature of the project changed as it proceeded. Ultimately, Althusser hoped to develop a theory of the reproduction of capitalist society in his text. 2. There exist two successive versions of this manuscript, which may be consulted at the Institut Mémoire de l'Edition Contemporaine, IMEC, in saint germain la blancheb just outside Cannes, France. The first is a 150-page typed text dated March to April 1969. The second, the basis for the French edition, bears a set of corrections and addenda that increase the length of the first typescript by about one-third. Chapter 2, notably, was completely rewritten. Althusser did not, however, finish revising his text. Down to chapter 6, he incorporated his modifications in the margins and between the lines of a photocopy of the first version, or on intercalated pages. He then introduced an additional chapter, chapter 7, brief remarks on the political and associative essays of the French capitalist social formation. For the next chapter, chapter 8, he wrote a new first section, which replaced sections 1 and 2 of the former chapter 7. The rest of the manuscript was not substantially modified. Since he inserted a new chapter 7, we have of course changed the chapter numbers from chapter 8 on, chapters 8, 9, 10 and 11 of the manuscript in the state in which Althusser left it have been renumbered, respectively, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Plainly, Althusser never made all the revisions to the manuscript that he originally intended to. However, Aside from indispensable emendations of obvious grammatical mistakes, missing words, and inexact textual references, of all of which there are, to be honest, quite a few, we have scrupulously respected his text, retaining even the imperfections due to the fact that it was left unfinished. We have also respected the text's graphic particularities, notably the abundant recourse to capitalization, which, as a rule, sets off terms used in a technical sense. 3. The piece that Althusser published in La Poncee lies somewhere between the two manuscript versions, while partially overlapping with the second version. It does not incorporate all the modifications made to the second manuscript version, which would thus appear to have been revised after the Poncee piece appeared. On the other hand, it is marked by stylistic improvements, significant omissions, of historical references and political allusions, and, above all, modifications of which there is no trace in the manuscript, notably to section 3 of chapter 6 and sections 1 and 7 of chapter 12. The most important point, however, and the justification for the present publication, is the fragmentary nature of the Ponce piece in comparison with the text from which it was extracted, which comprises the immediate context for interpreting it. The extract Althusser published in 1970 reproduces only chapters 3, 4, and 9 of the manuscript in their entirety, and parts of only two more, chapters 6 and 12. Thus it leaves out the section here entitled, To My Readers, in which he explicitly states his aims, chapter 1, about philosophy, chapter 2, which discusses the concept of the mode of production, chapters 5 and 11, on law, chapters 7 and 8, which take up the question of proletarian trade unions and parties as ideological state apparatuses, chapter 10, on reproduction and revolution, and parts of chapter 6, sections 1 and 2, and chapter 12, section 3 which have to do with ideology and ideological apparatuses. 4. It should be noted that the projected book's second volume, which Althusser announces on the very first page of his note, To My Readers, and again at the end of the manuscript, remained a project, it was never written. 
5. The present volume, for which we have chosen the title Sur la Reproduction, contains the second version of the manuscript in its entirety. It includes sometimes lengthy footnotes that are not to be found in the Ponce publication, as well as an appendix announced in the manuscript proper. The volume also includes ideology and ideological state apparatuses, notes towards an investigation, and a later text, entitled Note on the I.S.A. in which Althusser returns to the debate sparked by the Ponce piece. Dated December 1976, the note was first published in French in the 1995 first edition of Sur la Reproduction. It had been previously issued in German and Spanish collections of Althusser's writings. 6. Althusser's manuscript may be profitably compared with other of his texts of the period, likewise marked by the intense theoretical and political turbulence of the day. There is, first, philosophy as a revolutionary weapon, an interview that he gave Lunita in February 1968, and second, how to read Marx's capital comma which appeared in L'Humanité on 21 March 1969, this is an extract from a longer manuscript, also available at the IMAC, on the basis of which Althusser once planned to write a book entitled A Revolutionary Science. Third, there is Marxism and Class Struggle, dated January 1970, a text that served as the preface to Martha Harnecker's Lost Concept or Selimentalis del Materialismo Historico, 1971. All three texts were collected in positions. 7. It should also be pointed out that Althusser was, at the time, working closely with a group of graduates of the École Normale Supérieure in Paris, notably Etienne Bellabar, Pierre Macheret, Michel Taut, Christian Bordelot, and Roger Establit. They were collaborating on a project on the French school system, in which René Bellabar also took part that is mentioned at several points in the manuscript. As Althusser saw it, the conclusions he reached in this text, which he transmitted to the group in the form of propositions, represented, in some sense, a theorization of their research. That research was supposed to issue in a collective book, of which there exist very substantial drafts by, notably, Etienne Balabar and Pierre Macheret, that are available at the EMEG. The group eventually disintegrated and the projected book was never finished. However, Christian Bordelot and Roger Establit's L'Ecole Capitaliste en France, published in 1971, materialized in the context of this collective undertaking. Althusser attentively followed the writing of the planned book and contemplated contributing a preface to it. The subject of reproduction was, at the time, at the center of debates in the critical sociology of Marxist inspiration. In the 1960s, Althusser had invited Pierre Bourdieu and Jean-Claude Passeron who published La Reproduction in 1971, to participate in seminars at the École Normale Supérieure. Their approach was thus familiar to his students and collaborators, who envisaged, precisely, working out an alternative formulation in phase with the Althusserian problematic. The work of other writers with whom Althusser kept up a correspondence, see his Letters of the Period, also available at the IMAC, likewise belongs to this context. Their names appear in Sur La Reproduction. Let us single out those of Emmanuel Durai, Nikos Polantzas, and Charles Bettelheim. 8. I thank François Baudet and Olivier Corpit, the head of the IMEC, who authorized publication of this manuscript by the Presses Universitaire de France in the series Actuel Marx Confrontation. My special thanks go to François Matheron, responsible for the Fonds Louis Althusser and the editor of Althusser's Acquis Philosophique Set Politique, 1994, who attentively followed my work and provided me very helpful advice. I also thank Sonia Feltes, who vigilantly decrypted Althusser's manuscripts and prepared them for publication.